Hey guys, Melody here, and today we're going to learn how to make the Sin City inspired effect from my recent YouTube video. Okay, so let's get started. Open up Adobe After Effects. I've already imported my original footage, so let's create a new composition by going to Composition, New Composition. The settings here are fine, so I'm just going to name it Sin City Lips. Load your footage into the composition. Here's a small preview of the original. Now we can begin to start the editing process. Let's first apply the overall black and white effect to the video. Duplicate the video layer, I'll name the top one lips, and make the lips layer invisible for later. With the bottom one selected, go to Effect, Color Correction, hue and saturation and bring down the master saturation to negative 100 and you've got that basic black and white effect. Now go to effect again, color correction, curves and bring down the RGB channel curve to make it darker. But if you want a more intense look you can also apply a high contrast. But now my skin is looking a little icky so let's apply a slight blur to effect blur Gaussian or Gaussian blur potato potato whatever <laughs> and bring up the blurriness to 8. Now my skin is like velvet darling. Now the fun yet slightly annoying part begins. My luscious lips. <laughs> selected, select the pen tool and outline the lips to create a mask. Now you want to be as pretty darn accurate as possible because this is a close up shot. When the mask is done, you'll see that the black and white footage automatically appears behind it. Now, because my lips are so damn luscious, the shape of the mask changes ever so slightly with each frame. So using the page up and down keys on the keyboard, I have to go frame by frame changing the mask to properly fit around the lips. Do this by clicking on the lips layer, press MM on your keyboard, and set a keyframe for the mask path. Now I'm not going to do every single frame because it'll basically take all of eternity, but I will start off the first couple of frames. This is also why it's so much better to do this on a shorter piece of footage. As I fast forward a bit, you'll see that when you're done fixing the mask path, it should look a little something like this. But now it has that really harsh line to it. So we're going to fix that by bringing up the mask feather. If you see right here, the, the line is really harsh. So we're going to fix that by bringing up the mask feather to 27 pixels, making the edges look so much more realistic. And it's already looking so much more better. To change the color of the lips and make them a lovely red, correction and curves. Bring down the RGB channel curve a bit to make it a really deep color. But I almost forgot 
shot, right click the lips layer and go to blending mode. Set the mode to multiply and now it looks like it's supposed to. Switch the channel to the red channel and bring the curve up a bit. And then switch the channel to the blue channel and bring the curve down a bit just to make it a little less bluish of a red. After this step, you are almost finished. To add a really cool slight contrast between lips and the blurred skin, you are just going to select um, Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and Sharpen the Lips layer to 15. The last thing I'm going to do to finish this up is add a new solid black layer. This layer is basically going to be what's used to cover the background scene of the room that I'm in. With a solid, with a solid layer, excuse me, <laughs> selected, click on the rectangle tool and drag and mask to the point where the background of the room shows up. Press MM on your keyboard. Change the mask from add to subtract and feather the mask out to around 130 pixels. Let's preview it. And now that you have a consistent looking video with a very cool effect, be sure to save all your finished projects. Trust me, I've made this mistake so many times. And as always, remember to have fun. Until next time, guys. So close, Thanks for watching. Yet so far, don't know what it would take to get to the top, but will you still watch me through? Take a walk in my shoes.